Hi, my name's Harry Evans. I'm an actor, a multimedia artist, a teacher assistant, and I volunteer as a youth worker. I'm so happy to be supporting AKT today. They're such an amazing charity, and the work they do is so important, more so now than ever. So, my AK Together session is about home photo shoots. I've been having a lot of fun in quarantine doing some of my own, so I'm going to take you behind the scenes and give you some tricks and tips. First, you need to plan the shoot. I like to plan the shoot and have everything ready the day before. So then, on the day, all you have to do is take the pictures and you don't have to worry about wasting precious daylight which moves faster than you think. It's often nice to have something that stands out, whether that's the backdrop, the clothing, the makeup, the hair, a prop, whatever. The main thing is that all these things support and complement each other. Play around with colours. Google and have a look at colour wheels. The simplest two are the complementary wheel, where each primary colour has a complementary colour which is the colour opposite it on the wheel. And the analogous wheel, which shows the colours next to each other that work perfectly together. Think about what colours suit you best. If you're going for a pattern background, you might want to go for a plainer item of clothing. Of course, there are no rules, and everything is down to taste. Think about accessories and props. They can really make a difference. Try a few different ones. For example, I don't think the shoot would have been as good without the sunglasses. With this look, I added the jacket, and a bow, and sunglasses. You can always take pictures with both, or several options, and then pick. Secondly, I'm going to talk about setting up the backgrounds. You can use anything you have. Bed sheets, scarves, clothing, blankets, towels, fabric. Work with what you've got and work to your advantages. I found draping the fabric over a clothes area works best for me. But don't worry if you don't have one. You can hang from a wardrobe and use a fake Oscar, a TARDIS and a speaker as weights. You can hang fabric from anything. Desk, drawers, door, shelf, anything. Here I've used a white bed sheet and a blue travel towel to create a two block colour background which can work nicely if you're using two colours for your shoot. In this shoot I use pink and blue which work perfectly with the look. Of course you can shoot outdoors but as soon as you do it's so much harder to control everything including the lighting but mainly setting up the phone or camera. It's not impossible but it's hard to find places to lean your phone and balance it. These blue themed pictures I took are all selfies. Setting up the camera is the hardest bit. I have a tripod which is brilliant and so useful. I've had it for a while because I use it to film self tapes and other things. I think it was £15 so they are brilliant if you have one or if you want to get one. But you definitely do not need one. There are so many things you can lean your phone against. A windowsill is a perfect substitute. The majority of mobile phones have a self timer but if you don't you should be able to download an app. Obviously on mobile phones the back camera is better quality but on most phones the front camera is good enough. Using the front camera I find a lot easier because you can see what you're doing but I do try to use the back camera due to the quality being better. But if the pics are just for Instagram, the front camera is fine. If you want the pics for a website or more professional use, you may want to try using the back camera. All of my pictures in this video are taken with my phone, except this one, which I use my Canon camera for. I don't have a tripod for my camera, and it's harder to balance a camera than a phone. You don't need professional, expensive lighting equipment. All of the pictures I've taken, I've only used natural lighting. The best hours tend to be 10am till 2pm. But this depends on the sun on each day and where you are in the world. Don't worry if it's not really sunny, it doesn't need to be a lovely day. Natural lighting works wonders regardless. Play around and try different positions to see where the lighting works best for you. If posing doesn't come naturally to you, then you need to keep practicing. The longer you're in front of the camera, the more natural you will feel in front of it. Putting on music can really help. Songs that hype you up and make you feel like a supermodel. I'm going to go through some of my before and after pictures from shoots I've done recently. Please do not worry about the picture in the moment being perfect. You can always crop and edit. Setting up the camera yourself is so hard, so don't worry about lining it up perfectly. You can crop. I'm going to show you quickly how I edit a photo. I use Instagram. There are plenty of apps you can download, but I've actually found Insta works best. I don't tend to use the filter section, I go straight to the edit section and play around with these features. That was the quickest editing tutorial ever, but there's your edited photo. Good luck with your home photo shoots, I hope they go well. Thank you so much for watching, if you can, please donate to AKT and hopefully see you soon.